How do you sketch the root locus of a particular control system? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask yourself that obvious question. How would you sketch the root locus of a particular control system? Well, let's find out. So, let us consider this particular question in which the open loop transfer function is given as g of s is equal to k divided by s into s plus 2. Let's now sketch the root locus of this particular question in which the open loop transfer function is given as g of s is equal to k divided by s into s plus 2. So here in this the numerator specifies the number of zeros and the denominator specifies the number of poles. So here we now observe that the poles of this particular open loop transfer function is given as s is equal to 0 and s is equal to minus 2 because it is when s is equal to minus 2 this term becomes 0 and it is when s is equal to 0 this s becomes 0. So therefore there are two poles over here and therefore there are no zeros over here because in the numerator we have a constant term k. So first step is obtaining the loci. So here we have two number of poles so therefore number of poles is equal to 2 and here we have no zeros so therefore the number of zeros is equal to 0. So now in the second step we find the number of asymptotes. This is very simple. The number of asymptotes is obtained by the number of poles minus the number of zeros. So here the number of asymptotes is given by p minus z which is equal to 2 minus 0 which is equal to 2. So here there are two asymptotes. So now next in step 3 we are supposed to find the angle of asymptotes. So here the angle of asymptotes is given as theta is equal to 2x plus 1 divided by p minus z into 180 where here x is the number of asymptotes. So here we have obtained that there are two number of asymptotes. So therefore the value of x over here can be given as x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. So therefore there are two values of asymptotes. So therefore the value of theta can be theta is equal to first when we put the value of 0 over here in x here we have 2 into 0 which is 0 plus 1 so here 1 divided by p minus z is given as 2 into 180 so therefore this is equal to 90 degrees and here now when we put 1 over here we have 2 plus 1 which is 3 so here we have 3 by 2 is into 180 which is equal to 270 degrees so therefore these are the two angle of asymptotes that we obtain so now in the fourth step now we find the centroid of these asymptotes so the centroid is given as the summation of all the real values of the poles minus the summation of all the real values of the zeros divided by poles minus zeros. So here the summation of all the poles is minus 2 plus 0 that is minus 2 minus the summation of zeros real parts of zeros is 0 divided by poles minus 0. Here the number of poles is 2 and number of zeros is 0 so therefore this becomes 2 minus 0 so this becomes minus 2 by 2 which is equal to minus 1. So minus 1 is the centroid of these asymptotes. So all these are just initial steps once we plot the root locus all these will start making sense to you. So just go along with this flow. So this is the steps in which we can plot the root locus. So now we have found out the centroid of the asymptotes. So now once we found out the centroid of asymptotes now we find the breakaway point. So here in order to find the breakaway point we have to form the characteristic equation. So the characteristic equation is given as 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0. So here g of s is given as k divided by s into s plus 2 and h of s is 1. So this becomes 1 plus k divided by s into s plus 2 is equal to 0. So therefore on taking the cross multiplication we would get s squared plus 2s plus k is equal to 0. So this is the characteristic equation of this particular control system. So now from here what we now take is we take k is equal to minus s squared minus 2s. So once we take this now let us take dk by ds. So dk by ds is obtained as dk by ds is equal to minus 2s minus 2. Simply we just differentiate this with respect to s. 
So this we get minus 2s minus 2. And now once we take dk by ds, what we have to do is that we have to equate this dk by ds is equal to 0. So once we equate this dk by ds is equal to 0, we get minus 2s is equal to 2, which implies that s is equal to minus 1. So this s is equal to minus 1 is the break away point. So now we have found out the breakaway point as s is equal to minus 1. So now finally, now we have to check if this particular root locus interacts with the imaginary axis of the s plane. So for that, now we take the routh array of this particular characteristic equation. So here the characteristic equation is given as s square plus 2s plus k is equal to 0. So let us say s square plus 2s plus k is equal to 0. So now here, formulating the Routh array, we have the coefficients s raised to 2, s raised to 1, and s raised to 0. Here now here, first is 1, taking the alternative term here, we have k. And now for s raised to 1, here we have 2, and here we have 0. On cross multiplication, we get 2k minus 0 divided by 2, which is here we have k. So on observing the first terms over here, what we observe is that for this particular control system to be a stable control system, the value of k must be positive because here there is a positive term, here there is a positive term, so therefore here also there is a positive term because for a control system to be stable, in the first elements there must not be any sign changes. So here for that, the value of k must be greater than zero which implies that there is no intersection of this particular control system with the imaginary axis of the S plane. So now, now let us plot this particular root locus. Let us now consider the S plane like this. So here let us take say 0, here let us say plus 1 and here let us take say minus 1. Here let us take say minus 1, minus 2, and so on, minus 3, so on like this. So let us consider this particular S plane. So here, first let us simply plot the things that we know. Here we know for a fact that we have two poles that say S is equal to 0 and S is equal to minus 2. So here at S is equal to 0, we have one pole say P1 and at S is equal to minus 2, we have another pole say P2. And now here we have found out that the centroid of asymptotes is at minus 1. So here a centroid of asymptotes is say minus 1 and at minus 1 there are two asymptotes with the angles 90 degree and 270 degree. This means that there are two asymptotes like this. This is at an angle 90 degrees and this is at an angle 270 degrees. So there are two asymptotes like this. And now here, once we found out the asymptotes, here the break away point is also obtained at s is equal to minus 1. So here, this is also the break away point. So therefore, what we observe is that from this particular pole, the plot comes like this and it breaks away over here like this and over here like this. Similarly, from this particular pole, it comes like this and it breaks away onto these two asymptotes like this. So this does is simply how you plot the root locus of a particular control system when we are provided with a particular open loop transfer function. As simple as that guys. First, all we have to do is identify the zeros and poles. And now here we have to take the number of poles and the number of zeros. And now in order to find the number of asymptotes, we now subtract the value of poles minus the value of zeros. And then we have to find the angle of asymptotes, which is given by the equation theta is equal to 2x plus 1 divided by p minus z into 180, where x is simply the number of asymptotes. So here, because there are two asymptotes, we have x x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. So from that we will find the angle of asymptotes and now we have to find the centroid of the asymptotes. For that we have taken the summation of the real value of the poles minus the summation of the real value of the zeros divided by the number of poles minus number of zeros. Here therefore we have obtained the centroid of the asymptotes and after we have obtained the centroid of the asymptotes we have plotted
got two asymptotes with the angles 90 degree and 270 degrees like this. And now here, next we have to find the breakaway point. So for the breakaway point, what we did was that we took the characteristic equation of this particular control system using the formula 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0. And from this, we took dk by ds is equal to 0. We equate dk by ds is equal to 0. From that, we have obtained s is equal to minus 1, which is the break away point. And finally, in order to check if the root locus intersects with the imaginary axis of this particular S plane, we took the route array. So here, because the value of k is greater than 0, there is no intersection of this particular root locus with the imaginary axis of the S plane. So this thus is simply how you plot the root locus of a particular control system. As simple as that guy. So this does is simply how we plot the root locus of a particular control system from the open loop transfer function. So in the next videos, we'll be discussing a bit more trickier questions, but all these are very simple. Let's simplify all those concepts in the upcoming videos. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of how you can plot the root locus of a particular control system. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.